Mm. Hello, hikers. Do you have good intentions to stretch, but you never ever do it, even when it's sunny and nice? So, uh, that would be me. <laughs> even being a physical therapist and um, knowing the importance of this. So I've had some heel tightness the last last couple weeks, so it's really forced me to take my own advice and do a better job stretching. So what I'm gonna show you today are like the bare minimum stretches, things that you can do in your tent. <laughs> First thing in the morning, I'll show you my, my two morning stretches and then in the evenings, um, something a little bit longer that you can do. And I, I have to say it feels really, really good. And it's becoming part of my routine. Like it'd be tough to go to bed without it. So, so we'll start with the morning stretches. So I do have a Dan Durston one person tent that I can uh, at least sit up in. So if you have, it seems like a lot of people have a tent they can sit up in. Um, if not, you might have to work something else out, but uh, hopefully this will work in your tent. So the first thing I do, you know, get out of the bag before I pack this up, I stretch out the bottoms of my feet. So you can see I get my toes bending back this way. And so I just hang out here and kind of feel that out. Um, it feels really, really good when your feet are tight. Um, so, and even though it's been more my heel that bugged me, stretching out the muscles and the fascia on the bottom of your foot, that connects to your heel from the other side. So that's really felt good uh, to do. So hang out here at least 30 seconds. Sometimes I'll stay here a couple minutes, but all you wanna do is feel things start to relax and free up. So after that, I'll go into stretch both for the front of the shins and then latch shoulders and the lower back. So it's a, a child's pose stretch. So the way my feet look, they'll be flat on the ground to stretch out my shins. If that doesn't work for you, you can put your feet um, however they feel best. But just get the, uh, for one, get the pants pulled up, get in this position. I like to have my knees wider so that my gut can lay down in between and then you're just hanging out like this this feels really really good um and from here you can kind of move side to side so if i kind of bend a little to one side i can feel it stretch more in my left shoulder here move around and same thing 30 seconds at a minimum but really whatever feels good you can stay here as long as you want okay so those are my two go-to morning stretches um in the evening i like to do a little bit i'll do but those two stretches but i'll also do some things for my hamstrings and my hips so for the hips you can take one one ankle cross it over your knee and depending on how tight you are this might be a pretty good stretch um, but what you can do is play with that. If I bring this knee towards my opposite shoulder, I'll feel a deeper stretch and you'll feel it on the outside of your hip there. And then if you need more, you can always grab this other leg right around the uh, lower thigh behind your knee and pull that towards you. So sometimes I like to get a little bit of both a hand here to pull in one hand on the opposite knee you can kind of drop that to the side a little. Really, you're just looking for something that feels like a good stretch. It shouldn't be painful at all. It should be something you can relax into. You can talk, you can breathe. So <clears throat> just play around with that. Play around with the position and see what feels good. Right there, that's probably the best one for me. And just to show you from the other side, you can start like this, foot down. This might be a stretch. Can bring that knee towards your opposite shoulder a little to deepen it or you can get a hand behind opposite thigh and bring that in a little bit more to get a deeper stretch there okay so 
hamstrings here. So what I like to start with, I get a little bit of a foot stretch and a hamstring stretch at the same time. So we're going socks off here so you can see the, see the toes. Um, so I have a straight leg. This is the leg that's going to be the hamstring stretch. And then this one, um, what I'm doing here is just getting behind my toes and pulling those back. And this is also a stretch you can do if sitting with your toes, sitting on your feet with your toes bent feels like too much. This can be a pretty good stretch here. So what I do is just hang out here, have one foot stretching. Whew. Man, this is a stretch. This is maybe not a great model of flexibility, but this is, this is real life. So, so stretch as far as you, you're comfortably able. Same thing, 30 second minimum for as long as it feels good there. So this you'll notice on this hamstring stretching leg, the straight leg, if I bend that foot towards me, that'll intensify the stretch even a little bit more. Okay, just show you from the other side here. A little bit of a bent knee, get the toes stretched. And I'm stretching this left hamstring. Can bend that ankle towards me. You can feel that one a little bit in the bottom of the foot. It feels good. But remember all these, nothing should be painful. You should be able to talk as freely as I am now. Okay, so those are my go-to stretches inside my tent. Um, there's a lot that I do outside of the tent now. Um, being much more <clears throat> um, diligent about doing these. So in another video, I'll share some of the during the hike and after hike stretches that I've been doing. So happy trails.